parents very happy uh, to, to, to be here today and uh, actually for Sama Foundation you know it's a non-profit uh, making organization under Sama Group and uh, uh, we have been here for a long time and about four years ago we started the three week kindergarten and uh, I feel very honored today that uh, Mr. Uh, Professor Sien Yang is the chief advisor of our group and also of our foundation and uh, I need us to introduce him and he's the, uh, uh, the Bill Prize winner in physics uh, in the 1957. It was a very special year because I was born that year. We got the prize already at the age of 30 or 35. I think it's the youngest uh, Chinese who got such a uh, prize. And I would like to hand it over to uh, uh, Professor Yang. Maybe he can say something for us. Okay? Let's, 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 let's. Uh, Mr. Tsai is a old friend of mine. Uh, he told me a few years ago that uh, he's established this uh, elementary and uh, kindergarten school in China and asked me to visit. Uh, I found it uh, to be very interesting to step for a businessman uh, to venture into uh, education. This is my first uh, visit here. Uh, I've been very impressed. Uh, to start with uh, the name 3 e uh, I think it's a uh, very ex expressive name. Uh, I did not ask Mr. Tsai who invented uh, this name, but uh, it is clear that uh, the school emphasizes uh, some fundamental ideas about uh, children's uh, education. And it's particularly important in uh, China. It's, uh, partic it's particularly important in China today uh, to underline uh, exploration, uh, experiment, and uh, express. Uh, because uh, these uh, ideas <coughs> are not emphasized enough in traditional Chinese uh, education. I myself uh, was born in Anhui, Hebei in central China, uh, but uh, I came to Beijing in 1929 when I was uh, seven years old. My father was uh, a professor in Tsinghua University, and Tsinghua was very small. So uh, the faculty and the staff's uh, children all assembled in a small school with approximately 50 students. So the size of the school, the scope of the school, is a little bit uh, smaller than this one. But of course, uh, we were not uh, uh, so privileged. Uh, we, have, we had only one uh, small building. and uh, uh, But I had a very happy time. Uh, in that school, uh, mostly because uh, Tsinghua University uh, did not have that many people and had a lot of uh, little lakes and uh, little hills. And I and my friends uh, roamed around the whole of uh, Tsinghua campus. I was very fortunate because uh, I had many interests, and uh, my parents encouraged me in these uh, directions. Uh, for example, uh, my father would uh, help me to catch tadpoles uh, with uh, 
the nets uh, in the pools. And then I would uh, keep these uh, tadpoles in glass jars and watch them grow into frogs. Uh, a lasting impression and pleasure <coughs> uh, was the raising of uh, silkworms. Uh, that was a pastime which was uh, very common in Beijing in those years. I don't know whether it uh, uh, still is uh, practiced uh, to watch uh, the silkworms hatch them from eggs, hundreds of eggs on a sheet of paper, uh, and to feed them uh, mulberry leaves and eventually uh, see them uh, weave cocoons and uh, becoming uh, moths, and uh, later, in fact, uh, mating and uh, laying eggs. The whole life cycle lasting something like uh, two months was uh, one of the things that I like to do very much. And in retrospect, the fact that my parents <coughs> encouraged me to do these things was uh, a very important part.